hey what's going on you guys welcome to another video and today man the story continues of the brick lady aka world reports now i thought this story was going to be resolved by the end of this week but more things are coming out about this lady and it's looking like this whole thing was made up now it's not official yet because i'm still winning on the report from the officials i've looked at videos from other creators that said that they checked for police report that there was done there's no medical reports out there it's just her words in these videos that surface on tiktok and i did not expect this thing to get out of hand online right i thought it was um to me it was a simple situation of course i said that she did not deserve to get hit in the face by a brick no matter what she did unless she came at that man uh with a knife or a gun or something but of course, you got some people that, uh, you know, thought that just because she did those sketches on her TikTok where she was going around slapping white men for reparation, which was very stupid, by the way. Some people felt like she deserved it because of that. I still disagree, uh, but it's a free country. You have your own opinion. And this whole thing turned into black men versus black women. Like, I don't understand. Every time there's like these um, clips that go viral. I remember when the... Whole, do you guys remember the whole McDonald's situation? When there was that father who brought some McDonald's for his kid, but the uh, mother said that he should have brought for all her kids, and this whole thing went crazy online. It happens all the time. It turns out this video was fake, too. The whole McDonald's situation was fake, but, you know, people always fall for these things online, and I don't understand. And another thing that happened, which I was surprised, was the whole diaspora war People were pointing out that black men would never hit a woman in the face with a brick and that, you know, the men that hit a uh, Roe report was Haitian and that the men that was standing there was Somalian and that Roe was Somalian, that black people had nothing to do with this. Things got out of hand, man. It's looking like the whole thing was fake. As of now, the GoFundMe is still up. Currently has raised $42,000, right? So people are donating. I've watched other creators and they are pointing out some facts that does not, you know, make, make sense with the whole story that's going on. Other people have checked for police reports. Nothing comes up. No medical reports. Uh, wrote, she has gone MIA. Um, she has not come forward. Her TikTok page, she either deleted or it has been taken down. We haven't heard from her. Um, I saw somewhere she posted some, some voice recording. And that was it, what she was saying, that we need to look for the man and that we should focus on the man, but no police report. So it looked like the whole thing was a scam. I don't know yet. I'm still waiting on the officials to say, to step in, to get involved. Um, people have also been pointing out other um, GoFundMe's that she was allegedly affiliated with. I'm not 100 sure about that. But when the whole thing was happening, something went over my head. One thing that went over my head was... When she was at the party and she was wearing that ski mask, because I'm like, why is is it's not really a fashion thing. I've seen men, especially young men, wear ski masks, but I don't really see women wear that type of stuff. But she was at the party at nighttime wearing a ski mask, which was kind of suspicious. And then there are some old videos surfacing where she was doing the same thing in 2020. Look at this. You grew up and they mad because you trying to fucking be somebody. They mad because you trying to be somebody. I'm trying to be a doctor and they mad. Look what they did to me. Look what they did to me for no reason. They don't beat me up. I'm 30 years old. They gonna beat me up. Grown ass niggas try to beat me up. Grown ass niggas try to beat me up for no reason. Look at me. I'm not a bad person. Y'all know that. Y'all know I'm a good person. And they try to do this to me. Guess what? It's up and down for a real nigga. But you gonna be a All right, man. So this is an old video from 2020 where it's looking at she's doing the same thing. Playing the victims. Now, like I said, I've been watching that other content. Creators uh, taking on the story. And apparently some old friend of hers came forward and she's alleging that Roe report is not a good person is that she's a troublemaker and also that one that first witness that came forward he wasn't there he was lying he was making the whole thing up so the whole story which is it just it just got out of hand the whole thing's getting muddy um i'm not 100 percent sure what's going on but it's looking like the whole thing was fake and also i've seen some people make some good points that i did not consider that 
of course, you have women saying that men should have stepped in and do something. And when men step in, this is how it can it can go. It can possibly go. Now, this is a man. This happened last year, right? This is a man, an African man. This is an African man named Abdul Sharifu, 26. And this happened last year when the whole um, weather situation was going up there in New York. There was a blizzard. And this man... He went out in the blizzard to get some milk for his neighbor because she did not have any milk for her child. And sadly, he passed away. Sadly, he passed away. Um, he also has a family. He's a married man. And he did not even get to see his child being born. And this is what some of these women that are, you know, crying out that men should have stepped in and helped. This is what can possibly happen. And this is what they do not take into consideration um, when you step in into some thing that could have been avoided when men are saying that you know do not go to these places uh do not wear certain outfit women sees it as men telling them what to do how to live their life and which is fine it's a free country you can wear what you want but we are, when men are telling you here's how you can move to avoid situ certain situation they look at it as victim blaming they look at it as you telling them what to do and look and if i'm looking at this situation there was warning way before the whole blizzard hit new york so that lady did not do her job to get to go out there and get supplies for her child instead she asked this man to go out there risk his life and sadly for him he didn't make it now there was a gofundme on his behalf which raised sixty four thousand dollars, but that's not going to replace her father that is a child that's going to grow up with a fa without a father that is a wife that's gonna go on without a husband Nothing. This money will not replace this man. And another situation that I saw somebody point up, point out, was the whole Travis Rudolph situation. This, this is the whole protect black women thing. Of course, you have Travis Rudolph, who was having some type of dispute with his lover or whatever. She went out and lied and said that Travis mistreated her. She told her brother. Her brother went out, got three other people, went to Travis Rudolph's location. This got out of hand and somebody ended up going to heaven. And if you guys saw the court video, she she was just like acting like, you know, I was just mad and I said some stuff. It is what it is. I don't care. And you have women that feel that way. You have women out there just like there are men out there that do not like women. You have a lot of women that do not like men. Uh, They like to see men suffer. They like to see men perish on their behalf. And I'm going to leave you guys with this video where they are talking about a situation that happened that happened years ago by the way this video is very old but i'm just pointing something out how they feel comfortable to talk about certain stuff in the open now this is a situation that happened where a man got his private area cut off by his wife and this is what women have to say about it out there brace yourselves because we're about to go there because <laughs> This woman, according to the Orange County DA's office, Catherine Q. Becker is accused of cutting off her husband's penis with a knife, uh, taking his penis and throwing it into the garbage disposal. I see Sharon Osborne over there laughing, giggling. You see the reaction? Laughing. They think it's hilarious. They think it's, this is on national TV, by the way. I believe they'll talk. I think the show has been canceled. It used to be on ABC. So this is a talk show on a popular TV station. They are talking about a man that got his private cut off by his wife and thrown in the garbage disposal. And they are laughing. They think it's hilarious. They say Becker attacked him because he filed for divorce. <laughs> She's being held. She goes, that'll teach him. You see that? It's funny. They think it's funny, right? And that would be, I bet if this TV show was still around, that these would be the same women talking about how men should have jumped in, why men didn't do nothing, men are useless, blah, blah, blah. And they are laughing. They think it's funny. Um, I mean, I don't know the circumstances. I don't know why he filed for divorce. I don't know what was going on between them. However, <laughs> I do think it's quite fabulous. I mean... <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop over here. This is Sharon Osbourne. You know what I'm saying? National TV thinking it's fabulous that a man got his private card off. And I still stand with what I said. My motto has not been changed. 
I'm not jumping in into a situation where I can possibly get hurt or lose my life over no goddamn loud mouth, obnoxious, don't know her place woman. It is what it is. You get your ass whooped. The least I'll do for you is call the police. I'm not stepping in. All y'all can stay mad. It is what it is.